Hello everyone, welcome back to Outback Zoo and we have a, a special camera here for the start on our little koala female because we are actually expecting a lot of good things happen very soon. Oh gosh, where is it? You want to see this? Oh, it's coming out. Whoa, that's a little nice fella. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so cute. And there he goes. Woo! Let's check it out. Check him out. It's him. It's Jackson. Okay, I like the name. Um, the genetics are well. It's solid. So that's great. And we have some action in kangaroo between kangaroos also. Oh, she's going to mature. Okay. Um, she's still juvenile. Never mind. So anything else happened while we were looking? Um, we have a new animal. Okay. Yeah, that's the cassowary, which we added. All right. So uh, Arika is going to go away, maybe. But uh, you know what? I think we took enough time with that koala, and uh, let's move on with the speed build. In uh, the speed build we are going to build what's uh, sorely needed and lacking in our zoo and that's some uh, quality restaurant first and uh, you saw me plop down a certain uh, blueprint which was made by Toves. Um, Toves is a, a YouTuber itself, he has this uh, channel called Toves Place and uh, it's actually me kind of returning the favor to him. Uh, because he just recently used uh, my uh, uh, water tower, uh, the windmill one, which we have in our kangaroo habitat. Uh, he made some changes to it, which uh, I'm pretty okay with. And uh, so I, I did change his uh, blueprint quite uh, a lot also, um, because uh, to suit our purpose it needs to be changed just a slightly because he had it also as a back of the i think it was koala habitat so there were some uh, viewpoints out there and uh, some uh, spaces for the koala to sleep in which we certainly don't need here instead i decided to put uh, three shops in it so i made a couple of uh, small changes but i really do like the idea i mean it's it's not something uh, you know rocket science those uh, pieces the new pieces from the australian dlc that uh, certainly looks like the sides of container uh, they are you know it's it's obvious idea to create the containers out of them but the way he did his blueprint and uh, put a couple of them together and on top of each other i think that's that's really uh, nice and i even of this his idea i got my own idea for uh, the um, exhibit blueprint which i've made and we will get to it uh, later in the speed build so um i've certainly will uh, put a link uh, below uh, the you know below into the video description to link the uh, this wonderful item from the toves and uh, link to his uh, youtube channel check it out uh, i can only recommend um, his uh, his work which is uh, very nice and uh, he's uh, creating mostly just uh, off of build habitats um, but he has some very nice ideas one of it being uh, this uh, beautiful set of containers. Um, so for the purpose of our restaurant, uh, right now I'm creating some uh, custom uh, shade, which once again is an idea that I have uh, borrowed from, uh, um, well, I don't remember who was it, but I saw it in the community showcase from Paulsley that somebody made a uh, fence of the, you know, just stacking uh, next to each other those uh, nice Australian uh, uh, columns. So I think that's also a good idea. And then using some of those wooden planks, which are like, you know, now maybe one of the most favorite items for this particular zoo. 
um, we really were lacking those uh, items that look kind of crappy. Now I've seen some comments uh, from uh, people that live in Australia that this pack actually is uh, making uh, Australia look like a bunch of uh, crappy and rusty things, uh, which certainly is not true. And I, I do see your point. I mean, uh, but uh, those items are like super cool too and super easy to use. So uh, sorry for that. But we will get to. I, I mean. We, ha we do have some uh, nice builds uh, from the Australia as well. I mean, look at the koala house that we've got and uh, that's not crappy in, uh, you know, anyway. So, um, but uh, definitely I could, I could see that. Um, now, uh, some, some detailing had to be done and I really like to work with the uh, Australian foliage actually. It had to be uh, used carefully, you know, just to sparse a little bit here and there, not too much. I mean, we are not in a jungle or anything, uh, but still I, I like the color kind of scheme that you are getting of uh, the red or brown, brown, red, orange sort of a, uh, and uh, this, this weird green. Uh, kind of color scheme that you are getting from uh, the foliage and from the sand all around. So it's definitely uh, fun to use and uh, I'm really enjoying that actually. I'm uh, kind of sad that this is going to be my franchise zoo and uh, not uh, a uh, sandbox just for the sake that I would be very happy to share this zoo with you, which is unfortunately not possible since this is franchise. However, I will try to put uh, as much blueprints of uh, the particular habitats and particular builds on uh, the workshop for you guys at least so you can download it and use it. Now um, with this build we are kind of finishing on uh, the Australian part of our zoo. We already uh, did all five of the animals from the Australian DLC pack. Now uh, you saw me plop down that container with the exhibit which I made. That's going to uh, be on the workshop. I mean, it's already there for quite a while and uh, it looked perfect. You can recolor it and uh, it does not go with any foliage. So it's uh, pretty universal and you can use it, I think in basically any biome and just recolor it to your liking, you know, to suit your biome or um, I don't know your zoo which um, you are working on so uh, that's one thing that's all be it's going to be on the workshop from uh, this episode also i like these planks and uh, those columns to be used uh, with the rust defenses so that all looks pretty cool and also the paths i mean the paths that we are getting from uh, the australian dlc um this orange one is probably not usable in any other biome um, but it's fine for the australia i think it's perfect and uh the mosaic one is i think that can be used somewhere else and uh, I, I really do like it now i'm uh, in the build i'm moving towards the central crossroad which i do have for our australian uh, area so there's going to be a massive shade in there and uh, then I will move on to build uh, some uh, uh, some shell, some building shell over our facilities. So uh, uh, while you be watching that, um, let me just uh, talk a little bit about the future plans for this uh, franchise zoo, which I would like to get some uh, feedback from you guys actually, because um, we are in the desert, right? So that limits our changes quite a bit. Uh, we do have to um, use some animals that are fine in a desert or at least in the grasslands. Uh, there's obviously not going to be any, you know, I, you know, polar bears or wolves or anything like that. No, no, we gotta go with uh, the animals that fits well in uh, to this uh, hot temperatures. So uh, there are um, probably. Uh, the most suitable are the animals from uh, Africa. So I think we are going to go into Africa, but I would definitely uh, appreciate any feedback from you guys, what you think. Um, uh, we can uh, go some uh, savannas, some, you know, uh, 
favorite animals such as uh, elephants or tigers or uh, I don't know hippo could be crocodiles seems like um, one uh, animal that is based in Oceania we do not yet have and uh, we can certainly add it to the area we have for the cassowary um, so I think that's that's one obvious change uh, so, sorry obvious choice but uh, I would definitely like to hear from you um, if you have any preference on the animals because this is franchise and I would really like to stick in the life part of uh, this series to tending to the animals do some management really uh, I mean the building is uh, one thing and we will stick to the speed builds here mostly and we will not be doing any live builds uh, I, I think there are um, other series for that that's better suitable I would really like to uh, get more involved with uh, the animals so uh, we will uh, certainly look at that just after this uh, speed build and uh, since we will be taking care of the animals let me know which which one you think you would like to see me take care of um, <clears throat> because yeah like I said we already do have all of those from uh, the Australian DLC we just got a new koala baby which is which is like I mean awesome um, I think in uh, in the background I already saw that the baby camel is is out uh, there so we are going to definitely just after the speed build check about that and and regarding this uh, staff center I just uh, put together uh, I I've uh, cut the speed build a little bit it's mostly just you know detailing the uh, sides of it with all those uh, Australian kind of things so we will uh, do the quick review what we have uh, built and uh, then back to the animals is uh, yeah that's what I would definitely like to do with you guys and uh, let's just you know let's just go now look at this oh yes I like it when it's complete I mean there are no gaps left in uh, the middle of our build which I do kind of hate um, so let's review what we have built right so we do have still some uh, things kinks to be worked out don't look at there but we do have a nice little sign of a restaurant here which we can uh, follow up here's we just copy the design for the Australia entrance and here we go this is the little night nice shade some seating areas and uh, this is the build from Toves, which we've created of it a little little food court works pretty nice doesn't it um, of that oh I by the way I like this fence it's <laughs> it's so simple yet um, it looks good so going through we are in front of our uh, kangaroos habitat and here we made the uh, what is called the blue tongue lizard habitat um, which we <laughs> you know what we do have it empty actually yeah we need to add one there so uh, this area is completed which is great and this is the little shade we have made over this crossroad and a little um, stand with you know you can drink of it so uh, um, that's one thing and the other thing is obviously the staff center which is just you know following the theme we have set for our other staff building I mean nothing spectacular but I'll be releasing this to the workshop nevertheless if you would like to have it um, I think it's uh, it's actually beautiful in its own way so uh, that's going to go to the workshop and let's uh, let's do some management let's look at our animals and uh, we do have uh, one thing to do right away and that is definitely we need to okay that's exhibit trading we need to buy that uh, blue tongue lizard eastern blue tongue lizard yes okay um, that's pretty bad one but for the exhibits I don't think we need to care about it too much um, so we put them in both of them um, this is really uh, oh we do have some action going on in the background oh don't worry jumpila we will get to that 
pretty soon so uh, we need to yes that's correct and we need to add here some uh, let's just copy it from there from the kangaroos this one yes that's the most important item in the franchise which i um, keep i keep forgetting about uh, <laughs> still and still so let's check the layout so we do not have a lot of uh, Da, 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 research done yet I actually like that inside we are not going to put any of those facades we will just keep it like it's inside of the container I do like it actually so the climate is uh, I think fine we can lower it just a little bit and uh, we need to put it on the research definitely so zoo and uh, vet research oh we do have some research finish so cassowary is getting some love by gerard researcher that's fine we will finish off later now give me some of those enrichment items um so did we forget anything i'm not sure i don't think so so we do have some issues though yeah keeper cannot reach here mm -hmm, i see so you know what um I'm actually going to put this uh, on uh, our, you know, do, 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 who's going to take care of kangaroos. It's pretty, uh, pretty close to kangaroos. So I will just add it to the kangaroos work zone, whatever. I mean, the exhibit does not uh, require a lot of care. So uh, it's actually, uh, who's taking care of the, oh, it's actually me. Okay, so it's <laughs> going on my plate. And I'm thinking we could add actually, yeah, let's say moping around for the, some training, Birdus Kasuari, Kamal Kamelson, and me, and Cora Screwdriver, Mrs. T-Rex, definitely I could use, you know, vendors, I'm not sure we need that, it will just cost us more money, but maybe, you know, maybe they will be effective uh, more and more, so that's okay. And the stuff rooms, we do need to have some da -da -da, perks. I like this one. Um, it's going to cost us some money, but whatever. And uh, cleanliness is in the, oh, we do not have any. Yeah, the water treatment, we need water treatment badly. So let's just plop down here for now. Um, we will incorporate it into um, some stuff building later on. Let's just put it here and, uh, you know, we definitely don't want our cassowaries to uh, get any, you know, any disease or anything. And uh, it's slowly getting, uh, you know, late night. So I'm thinking I will skip the night and we will tend to the animals because we do have some uh, animals born in our zoo. And I would definitely like to show you. But look at this. It's getting complete. It's getting like a big zoo and uh, yeah that's quite the sight to behold okay uh, the morning is slowly approaching but we do have the koala house very nicely lit and I just want to show you um, yeah I mean I do care about the lighting stuff so uh, I plop down a lot of uh, those uh, lights and uh, it looks good in the night actually um, but let's move on to uh, our animals so it's here stop and Tamor Kian yeah we've got a baby camel and look at that so we do have a mother which is not rated at all we do have bronze Rudy and of that we've got a gold gold little camel oh Rudy you've been naughty I know I know Okay, look at this little guy. So his genetics are pretty good. So uh, Tamor Khan, uh, no, 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 you are going to be called Goldie. Ta-da, what's the issue here? Okay, vet research complete. So we do have a uh, little camel and we've got puppy, puppy Eva actually. Yeah, puppy Eva is not puppy anymore. It's our little gold dingo and I'm thinking we're gonna keep this one for quite a while because I I do like her hey Eva you're just sleeping here and that's fine take some rest um, while he stomped on your head 
not cool so um, we will make a note here that is uh, one of our juveniles and we do have no no pregnant dingo for this time around oh Jackson Kohala <coughs> sorry uh, we will look at you already but uh, I mean we can do it again because you oh you are adorable as hell hey buddy where are you going can we okay yeah this is it um where's your mother don't just jump around look for your mother or poop for us yeah probably <laughs> i mean that's uh, what they are all doing for us usually social so the space is actually a little what's with the climbing i mean this uh what i mean like what oh no it's broken again they should have nice climbing area and for some reason it did not load correctly um you know what we do not care about it right now sometimes it happens that i load the zoo and the climbing area does not um correctly you know get associated and recognize now arika is already you know uh matured so I'm thinking we are gonna sell this one so let's send you to the train center sorry Arika I liked you but it's time to go and Jampila as well oh this one's gold so we're gonna keep Jampila because she's gold so uh, maybe in the future I'm gonna use that and uh, breed something of her I don't know but we're going to keep her, but we are definitely at the contraceptives because we don't to have, you know. Oh, we don't want to have. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. We do. Oh yes. Oh, we do have nice little cassowaries. That's awesome. The genetics are crap, but. <laughs> the, <laughs> the animals itself are awesome and the, they have big fertility so maybe there's some potential you know to at least sell them on the market i'm not sure how uh, good that is uh, i mean if we can get some uh, leaves of that but um it's funny how they are you know um this weirdly colored um i guess they are as they are maturing they are getting some more casuary colors um, as a uh, adults so um, they are pretty awesome we do have two of them and we're gonna name them because I don't like this so we have uh, that fluffy and uh, boobiba so this is going to be Mingi and uh, oh Mingi is male we have two males Mingi uh, Mungi Mingi Mungi, all right. Um, no gold animals this time, unfortunately, but yeah, that happens. So, so regarding the animals, we are doing very well, and I do like this site of Cassowary House, so um, definitely good. Um, let's look at our research. Did we complete it just some research? Yes, yes, we do. So maybe we can add some more enrichment items. Yeah, oh, just the lamps. Oh, it's kind of boring enrichment, right? But nevertheless, um, it is at least something. Hey, this is actually, no, it's the researcher. Yeah, you are checking on those enrichment items, aren't you? Um, let's look at our guests. What do they need? I'm thinking raising the prices again. We're gonna do 13 this time and uh, 10 for the kids. I think they can take that. Um, where is the guest thoughts? Zoo is pretty, I mean, pretty small. This is small, no way. Um, the thirst is an issue. Education is always issue. I, I don't quite get it why I can get the education done. I guess it's because, um, let's look at the heat map. Yeah, the education coverage is somewhat just spotty. I think I should cover more areas where the guests are standing. See, all of those guys are not educated properly. 
so the ranges should be extended I think um, a little bit I just um, I just hate to do it because it will disturb the animals um, but let's just improve it just a little bit so we can uh, get better education and there we have some issue with this one oh vandalized okay replace what else can we click on no way we can't so let's remove what is happening okay and then back oh no that's that's a common trick if you cannot click anything that's uh, behind any other item just remove the item then uh, click on what you want to select select it and uh, press undo and you will have the selected the original item that you want it so we are gonna make this bigger as well oh we have some action we have some action and that's going to definitely be yeah some new offspring kangaroo great um, that's good uh, we definitely can use some more kangaroos and uh, I've kind of lost track of what I was doing okay yeah the gas and the thirst so we do have those great vending machines somewhere here let's just look for them okay and we can add some uh, what do we have here um, a pip shot okay so how about a cafe cafe machinery and put it um, I mean we can put it just somewhere here along our food court here's some space boom there you go um, so you could use that what is here um, excellent uh, there is <laughs> no love for Maxland. everybody's going for the gurpee oh they are thirsty everyone is thirsty so maybe one more do we have some more coffee cosmic cow ice cream what is this cosmic cow milk yes we gonna add you to do, do, do you know what i will just add one more here um just like this let's move this one a little bit okay and uh, one more of this should work that should work fine so hopefully the thirst is addressed and um, we can move on with our little zoo to the next episode and uh, I already told you that I could use some feedback for you about which animals we are going to go for hey Jackson you're a good one and we are going to go for this area to the left because to the right we have the Australian area finished maybe we can add crocodile here um, let me know if you would like that and then off to the Africa we are and that's going to have to wait for the next episode um, if you like this one uh, leave the comment uh, give me thumbs up and if you are not subscribed definitely it would help the channel to grow if you could subscribe and uh, I would like to see you in the next one guys. Goodbye.